It sure has been an interesting week, hasn't it? We started off with the princes and their own regular immature selves. And then we got a visit from the evil Queen Zendel, who almost succeeded in taking over the kingdom. But uh, I was really surprised at how the princes reacted in the face of danger. Weren't you? Yeah, now, I had my doubts all along. But they're coming around. You know, I see the real change taking place. Take a look over there. Richard Richard is reading the Good morning, boys. Oh, good morning, Ida. And how did you sleep last night? Um, better than usual. Thanks. Glad well, to hear it. Robert. Don't you think we should pray first? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food. May we accept it humbly, knowing that everything we have comes from you. And thank you for everything we have, and thank you for Sir Devin, and Ida, and our Father the King. We must say thank you for our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Wow, that was nice. Mm. This porridge is especially good this morning. Yes, my compliments to the chef. Well, I'll tell Brom that you like it. Yes, please do that. And Ida, I know we don't tell you this enough, but we really are thankful for everything that you're doing for us. Yes, thank you. Now, is there anything we can do for you? All right, what's going on? What do you mean? Well, you may look like Richard and Robert. You may sound like Richard and Robert. You may even smell like Richard and Robert. But the problem is, you don't act like Richard and Robert. So, the two of you aren't leaving this room until you tell me what you've done with them. Christopher, welcome to King's Manor. 
Thank you, Your Highness. Uh, I'm sorry to frighten you, but after being gone for so long, I thought it would be wise to approach with caution, but with these being treacherous times and all. Yes, they are. Even more than you realize, I'm afraid. <coughs> what do you mean? Did something happen while I was gone? Well, yes. As a matter of fact... Well, sire, sire, we're so glad you returned. Well, rise, Sir Gavin. Tell me, what happened while I was away? Oh, the evil Queen Miranda paid us a visit. What? Yes, sire. She must have found out that you were absent and took the opportunity to overthrow the kingdom. But she failed, of course. Oh, well, is everyone okay? Oh, yes. Rest assured, everyone's fine. <clears throat> that's, that's good, but where's Miranda now? Oh, she's left the area. <laughs> I should say so. I saw the whole thing. Flames scared the stuffing out of her, and she took off like a shot. You should have been here. Oh. Excuse me, sire. Well, I, you know, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how did Richard and Robert do? Oh, your son, sire. By the time I arrived on the scene, they had already defeated four of the henchmen. You would have been so proud. My sons? Oh, yes, sir. I tell you, if you would have arrived even two days earlier, I would have thought that this little experiment had failed. But God has done some amazing things in their hearts. They, uh, it's just... You know, Sir Gavin, I haven't prayed for anything this much in my entire life. I'm forever in your debt, my friend. Well, give the glory to God, sir. Well put, Sir Gavin. To God be the glory. Now, tell me, where are my sons? I want to see them. Uh, if you would come into the great hall, I'll send them. King's Journal, 15th day of September, in the year of our Lord, 1451. Great evil came against the kingdom this week while I was away, and my sons were preoccupied with selfish pursuits. But by God's grace, what was almost a disaster, he used to open their eyes to their folly. It is indeed true that God works all things together for good for those that love him. He has now given me the desire of my heart. 
two sons who fear the Lord and want to do their best to serve Him.